Transform anxiety into positive energy. Giving a speech, asking your boss for a raise, going on a blind date, what do these scenarios have in common? For most people, situations like these, which involve vulnerability and uncertainty, trigger lots of anxiety. Just the thought of a stressful situation can get your heart racing. But as much as you dread those stomach-turning feelings, they serve a purpose. It's what has allowed our species to evolve to where we are today. Anxiety is the alarm system that goes off when you come across a dangerous or difficult situation. If you go way back to a time when people faced great dangers and threats to their lives, those who were hypervigilant are the ones who survived. Anxiety is actually an evolutionary trait to help us deal with danger. We think of it as negative, but we can learn to channel this energy into something positive. Even things that aren't a real danger, can still cause your heart to hammer inside your chest. But it's not all out of your control. During anxiety-provoking experiences, your body's response might be automatic, but with practice, you can develop the skills to transform your distress into something more positive. If you are one of those, who feel the occasional pang of worry, keep watching this video to learn how you can flip anxiety on its head and turn your nerves into a potent ally. I'll give you a few tips for turning your nervous anxiety into positive energy. Number 1. Visualize your success. During an anxious moment, your brain tends to focus on all the potential negative outcomes of a situation. Within the span of seconds, you can easily drum up every possible worst-case scenario, and this causes anxiety. But, just as our minds can make us worry and feel sick, they can also help us to feel stronger and provide comfort. Instead of thinking about all the things that might go wrong, focus your energy on your impending success. Performers of all types, athletes, and even politicians have reaped the benefits of positive mental imagery. It's possible that visualization is so effective because the brain can't distinguish between a real memory and one that's imagined. So remember to think only about positive outcomes when you are in a difficult situation. Number 2. Rehearse the situation. Whatever causes you anxiety, practice doing it few times beforehand. Or else, just visualize it a few times in your mind to carry out a mental rehearsal. If you have to give a presentation, then practice the presentation from beginning to end at least three times. If you can visualize a situation, create an anxious state in your mind body, and then practice in that state. It will be less surprising when the anxiety happens in the real situation. By engaging in a mental rehearsal, you can feel more relaxed and confident about your ability to meet whatever future challenge you will face. Whether it's a presentation or a networking function, take your visualization to the highest possible level of detail. Be relentless in your positivity. Number 3. Take a deep breath and smile. Taking a deep breath or two or three, forces you to concentrate on your breathing. Thinking about your breathing will help you regulate it, and slow yourself down a bit. After inhaling, and exhaling slowly, smile. Smiling is psychologically proven to help us feel better. If needed to produce a sincere smile, use a positive trigger. Think of something that will trigger a smile, the sound of your child's giggle, the look on your dog's face when you get home, your next vacation etc. Smiling works wonders to make you feel good, and you're going to get them back from others. It's a wonderful cycle. A returned smile leads to warmth, warmth leads to connection, and connection leads to reduced stress. Number 4. Replace your negative inner critic. What if I bore people? What if I'm asked a question that I can't answer? What if I lose my train of thought? What if I embarrass myself? Avoid this downward spiral of negativity, and replace it with positive self-talk. 
Rather than feeling anxious and telling yourself you won't do well, tell yourself that you are anxious, but that doesn't mean you can't perform well too. Tell yourself that I am brilliant. I will shine. I am a magnet of positive energy. I can do it. Sometimes you have to be your own coach, and give yourself your own positive reinforcement. Self-belief can overcome low esteem and it will build your confidence. Remember that negative self-talk can lead to a lowered ability to see opportunities, as well as a decreased tendency to capitalize on these opportunities. Believing in yourself will reduce the anxiety of failure. Number 5. Redirect your adrenaline. Anxiety involves a lot of energy and adrenaline. It is up to you how you use this energy? Your attitude and disposition are generally within your control. This extra energy gives you the chance to positively invigorate your gestures, expressions and vocal. Let the negative energy move out from the body in the form of these gestures and expressions. It allows you to be dramatic and engaging. When you feel a negative thought or a worry start creeping in, change your mind's course of thoughts. Let the negative energy of anxiety turn into positive energy of excitement. Do an activity that you enjoy, maybe that's going for a run, or doing yoga poses. Partaking in a physical activity is a great way to redirect adrenaline. It's great for your whole body, not just your brain. I hope that you will find these tips and techniques useful for converting nervous anxiety into positive energy. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, because more incredible content is on the way.